Hey guys, chapter 18, a lot has happened. So as you read, Jesus has been arrested in the garden. He's been taken away by the Jewish leaders. Now, you also see where Peter has denied Jesus three times. And that in itself was an event. So the Jewish officials have taken Jesus from location to location through the night, and they're interrogating him. Well, throughout the night, they're doing this. And early the next morning, they decide to take Jesus to a Roman official. And that's where we'll pick up verse 28. It says, then they led Jesus from the house of Caiaphas, who is the high priest, right, to the governor's headquarters. It was early in the morning. They themselves did not enter the governor's headquarters so that they would not be defiled, but could eat the Passover. You see, they were all so worried. Hey, we don't want to go into a Gentile's house because that would defile us. That's what religion does to you. People get so hung up on rituals and things like that. They're so hung up on not going into his house. It doesn't bother them that they're about to try to murder somebody. They're about to, to kill someone. But hey, let's not go into a Gentile's house, right? So that's what religion does. And so this is what happened. It says, so Pilate, who is the governor, went out to them and said, what accusation do you bring against this man? And so he's saying, hey guys, I don't know this guy. I don't know who this man is. And I don't know that he's broken any law. So what accusation have you brought against him? They answered him, if this man were not doing evil, we would not have delivered him over to you. Pilate said to them, take him yourself, judge him by your own law. And so Pilate's saying, hey, listen, you're bringing me a man and telling me to deal with him under Roman law because he's done evil under your religion. And Pilate's like, I can't do that. If I'm going to punish someone under Roman law, there has to be a reason. We have to document a reason. And your religion is not a reason. Your what you think is evil is not a reason. So you guys go and deal with them through your own religious ways. It says this, the Jews said to him, it is not lawful for us to put anyone to death. Well, we know that's, that's not true, right? Leviticus tells us that. Leviticus says that if someone is accused of blasphemy, which is what they are saying Jesus has done, he was to be put to death by stoning. And so that is what would have happened had not the prophecy been fulfilled. You see, as we read forward, it says, this was to fulfill the words that Jesus had spoken to show by what kind of death he was going to die. You see, when Jesus would tell the disciples, I'm going to go to Jerusalem and I'm going to be crucified, it seemed odd to the disciples because they're like, why would you be crucified? Rome crucifies people and they don't even know who you are. They have no problem with you. It's the religious people, the Jews, who have a problem with you. Rome doesn't even know who you are. So it seemed odd to them that they were saying that Jesus was telling them, I'm going to be crucified. But Jesus knew what was going to happen. You see, Jesus was going to be crucified in front of thousands of people. And it was going to be documented in Roman history so that you and I would know that Jesus gave himself on the cross for you and I, to, for us to be able to spend eternity with him in heaven. Hey, listen, chapter 19 tomorrow is going to be very, very heavy. So I'm encouraging you, spend some time in prayer before you go in and ask God to show you through his Holy Spirit and a powerful truth. And tomorrow we will dive in further into chapter 19. See you guys.